Today is September 18th, 2018, Tuesday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time, and I am glad to be with you today to share my gleanings of today's reading. Here Paul is not only theological, but he is poetical. In today's first reading, we find him describing the church's unity in a way that has never been surpassed. Actually, long before Paul, Plato had gone a long way of dissecting and describing the importance of the body as a whole. As an example, Plato said that we don't say, my finger has a pain, but rather, I have a pain. The body, in other words, is interconnected to serve the whole. So Paul described this unity in another way. You are the body of Christ, he says. Now think of that. Christ is no longer here, and therefore we, the body, must work together carrying on this work and mission. Literally, we have to be the body of Christ. We are the hands to do his work, the feet to do his errands, the voice to carry his message. This is such an important concept and direction as to how we are to work. We are all one and all equal protecting the whole, and so to the church. Sure, there are popes and pastors and leaders and teachers and theologians, but then there is us too. As one bishop beautifully described his position to his flock, with you I am a Christian. For you, I am a bishop. But all of us together make up the body of Christ and must fulfill our part in serving the kingdom. We not only need one another, we must respect and sympathize with one another. And to that extent, he points out the danger of disunity. Love, he says, is the only thing which can bind the church into a perfect unity. Indeed, as Rodney King pointed out, can't we all just get along? Know that the Lord is God. He made us, his we are, his people, the flock he tends. Amen. Amen.